Hello everyone and welcome to another random bits and pieces segment from my brain and today it's been a while for we are playing some more franchise Aki Manager 6 as part of the Ottawa Senators. The Ottawa Senators uh, might I say that are quite changed, they have quite a different look to them. We are just about to take a look at the roster that I have decided on uh, for this season. Um, there's quite a few surprises, I think. Uh, of course, losing Alfredson, Yashin, and Brian McCabe is going to leave some holes in the lineup. Uh, and I had to fill that with players. Might not always be the players you might think of. Uh, but uh, that's been taken care of. Uh, I do want to give a shout out to uh, Philip GM, uh, who's been interacting with me through comments on uh, YouTube. And he brought up the idea that for uh, the next iteration of the game, maybe I should play as the GM of a juniors team, uh, as it would make it a little bit more challenging on me. Uh, I agree on the challenge part, uh, but if, that's kind of a shout out for the people that are still watching me. I know there's quite a few of you. Uh, if you have any ideas on something that you would like for me to play for the uh, next iteration of the game when it comes out, uh, uh, please feel free to comment about that. I'm pretty open to almost anything, uh, except I will not play as the Montreal Canadiens for anything. I think that if you've listened to me through 119 videos, I believe this is 120 today, uh, I think my disdain for the Montreal Canadiens is pretty apparent by now. So anyway, I just wanted to throw it uh, out there. Feel free to give me suggestions. I know it's still a few months away and everything, but I, I like to get prepared. So just let me know if you have any requests and I will pick from all the requests unless you all, all feel the same. All right, so let's take a look here at the Ottawa Senators for the 2007 and 2008 season. Like I said, there's going to be a few surprises, except in net. In net, you already know who's going to be there, I'm pretty sure. So it's going to be Brian Elliott and Ryan Miller. So no surprise there. Hopefully, Ryan Miller on top of Brian Elliott. But uh, that's for Lindy Ruff to decide. We are also going with a new coach there. Uh, on D, I have a few surprises. So Zdeno Shara will be there. That's not a surprise. Andre Mazaros uh, made the team out of camp. That is kind of a surprise. Uh, Jordan Leopold made the team as well. Volchenkov, Mark Strike, Sheldon Sorry, and Tim Gleason is coming back playing for us. So few surprises in there. Chris Phillips didn't quite cut it again. Chris Phillips has struggled to develop property in my save. Um, so yeah he's in the minors again i think it's pretty much it for chris phillips he's 30 i think so he's not gonna get any much better than what he is and he is a one-star player that struggles to stay in the league that's just where he is uh on forward there's a few surprises as well so pavel that took no surprise there martin avlet chris kelly brooks like michael Ryder. so Ryder is kind of coming back oh i'm gonna put him i'm gonna take him off that for now I missed it earlier so Ryder a little bit of a surprise kind of coming back uh, in the lineup then Patrick Elias no surprise Fisher Thornton Matt Stajan is kind of a surprise and Alexey Kegorodov played well during preseason so I'm giving him a shot let's see if he can develop he's gonna be a little bit more of an offensive player uh, so let's see if he can make it Ryan Callan also made the team out of camp uh, so it's going to be kind of his first foray for us here. And then Mariano and Jason Spezzar, no surprises. And then Alexander Radulov, who uh, played decently last year at the end of the season and then in the playoffs. So he is going to be playing for us as well. So I kind of like the look of the team. It's pretty well-rounded. We have some uh, players that are a little bit more defensive, and then we have some more uh, offensive-minded players as well. Uh, and that's true on both D and uh, forward. So I'm expecting to have a pretty strong season again. Uh, and as you can see, my salary is uh, going to be about 8 million under the cap. So we're good. So shedding all of that salary uh, was pretty uh, beneficial. 
So now we're gonna go ahead and advance here and actually start the season. I might pick up somebody. Uh, Alright, so yeah, I've put uh, Patrick Eves uh, to pass him through waivers. He's unfit and he had he didn't have a very good training camp before getting hurt. So I said, you know what? You're gonna go and learn a valuable lesson in the minors. So Patrick Eves is going in the minors and I'm giving a shot to a young player that showed up and was serious about is training so now let's take a look at who's available on the waivers because we might be able to pick up somebody yeah I don't think that's gonna happen yeah I'm really not seeing anybody that's uh, that I absolutely want or anything like that Oh yeah, I'm not. I'm definitely not picking up this guy. I I have problems enough saying his name when we play against him. Imagine if I have him on the team. Yeah, I don't. There's really nobody in there that uh, that would be a great addition or anything like that. Julien Vauclair it was a Sens pick back in the day. Yeah, I think we're going to stay exactly as we are. Um, we have a pretty good team. We also have 47 contracts, so it's not like I don't have any death or anything like that. We're doing pretty good for the number of players, so for now we're going to kind of stay put. Alright, the season preview. Early Stanley Cup favorites appear to be the Ottawa. Okay, it's the Ottawa Senators, not just the Ottawa. Led by winger Pavel Datsyuk, general manager Jesse Bonham has built a squad that will be the team to beat this year, but he can expect challenges from Bob Gainey's Montreal Canadiens and Nashville featuring defenseman Shea Weber. Among the dark horses, Detroit stands out as a possible challenger with a big season by Henrik Zetterberg, capable of pushing them into contender status. The scoring race will see Pittsburgh's Jeremy Jagger as challenged by Sidney Crosby of Pittsburgh and Ottawa's Pavel Datsyuk. It's funny they never mentioned Jason Spezza and he's always our best player lately. Uh, the top defenseman in the league is generally considered to be Florida, uh, Florida Panthers blue liner J. Boomister, with Detroit's Nicholas Lidstrom and Andre Markov and Montreal also in the running. Finally, among goaltenders, New Jersey's Martin Brodeur stands out as the league's best, while New York Islanders netminder Roberto Luongo and Ryan Miller of Ottawa can also steal games for their teams. Alright. So they are expecting big things from us. We need to not disappoint. All right, so I need to give numbers. Michael Ryder would like to change his number to 17. Okay, he can get it. And Kegel Radov would like 55. He can get it. Brian Lee's not uh, playing anymore. Well, he is, but in the minors. Oh, already started, huh? A night to remember for Mike Camilleri, who had four goals and two assists for six points against the Ducks. Well, that's a great way to start the season. Right, so I guess... Wasn't there something that year where they went and played in Europe or something like that? That's why there's, like, games early, earlier? Maybe not. Milan Bartovic is available. Yeah, I'm not picking him up. And we're about to start in Toronto. Oh god, that's great. Spezza is starting sick. Matt Jones available. Not picking him up. Alright. Uh, Jason Spezza left his Ottawa Senators teammates to their brother suffering for an unspecified illness. Alright, so he's not gonna play to start the season. Mark Hartigan loves his fans. Alright, so he's been giving pizza and everything, right? Yep. Gift cards and pizza. Good job for Mark Hartigan. Your fans love you. Alright, so. Oh. 
Spenzo might even play at this point. He has a cold. Yeah, thankfully it's not 2020. It might be the coronavirus, but it's 2007, so it's probably just a cold. All right, so we are starting the season with a back-to-back -back with the Maple Leafs. So that's how we, we're starting. We're starting in Toronto, and then tomorrow is going to be in Ottawa. And then uh, looks like we're going to be playing a little bit more at home than on the road for this particular month. So all right, the season is about to start. Let's take a look at the Leafs, see what they did during the off season. Right, so in net it's uh, still Jiger and Conklin, so that's whom they've had for for quite a few seasons now. Uh, oh, they have a whole lot of contracts expiring this year. All right, so on D they have Adrian Oquin, Sergei Gonshaw, Martin Skula, Stefan Cronwall, Brian Leach is in Toronto, Ian White. All right, so that D is not too bad, but it's getting a little old, so. They might want to address that. Um, like Leech is 39, Oakwine is 34, so yeah. Then uh, at forward they have uh, Nicholas Agman, Brad Boyce, Quinton Lang, Pony Karowski, Alex Stein, Jason Blake, Adam Alianic, Perro, Travis Ajax, Stefaniel, Steve Moore, Nick Antropov, uh, Ryan Borg, David Moss, and Eric Cole. So, it's not a terrible team, but they're not really strong either. And I just realized I forgot to do something. Forgot to name my new captains. Let's see who's a good leader. Oh, looks like it's gonna be. Oh, wow. Yeah, I did le let a lot of good leadership leave. So, Shara is gonna become my captain. I can give an A to Volchenkov, I can get behind that. Not sure I want to give it to Callan, so he's a rookie. So I think I'm gonna defer to lower ear and give an A to Datsyuk. There you go. So Shara with Volchenkov and Datsyuk as the alternates. So that's going to be my Captain C team. Alright, so we are about to play the Leafs, we just looked at them. So as usual, go sends go. So Shara with Stripe, Mazaros with Volchenkov, and Jordan Leopold with Sheldon Sorry. In real life, that would have been a pretty decent D, to be honest, to have all of that. Pretty happy with it. All right, so Ryan Miller is going to be in net for us, and Jean-Sébastien Giguère is going to be in net for Toronto. So the 2007 and 2008 season is now underway. Go sends go. And we start with a 2-1 to one win, so maybe a little bit tighter than we would have liked, but it's still a win nonetheless. Starts better than last season, for sure. Uh, we did outshoot Toronto 39-20 to in that game. Joe Thornton was the first star, he had a goal and an assist. Jean-Sébastien Giguère was the second star, he made 37 saves in the loss. And Eric Cole was the third star with a goal. Uh, Jason Spets opened up the scoring in the first period despite having a cold and it was on the power play from Michael Ryder and Joe Thornton so it was one nothing sense after one then uh, there was quite a bit of uh, penalties in the first period and there was a fight between Adrian Okoin and Zdeno Oshara so Okoin being pretty pretty brave here then in the second period, Joe Thornton scored from Pavel Detsuk it was 2 nothing, and then Toronto scored to make it 2-1 and that would be the last goal of the game, so nobody scored in the third, and 2-1 to was the final score. Pavel Dimitras tallied 1,000 game games played. Played for most of them for the Carolina Hurricanes, so still over there. So he didn't get a point in the game. And 32 years old, Pavel Dimitra, 1,000 games, still a two-star player. Oh god, that's terrible. So, apparently I traded Daniel Alfredson after he played 999 <laughs> games for the Suns. Oh my god, Ottawa Suns with it. Ottawa Suns, 
Ottawa fans would have torched me uh, had it been in real life to have traded Alfredson at 999 games played. So he played his thousand game in a Detroit uniform. So didn't get a point. 34 years old, Daniel Alfredson, still a three star player. Wow, lots of players played their thousand game in the NHL uh, tonight, last night, and Alexei Zitnik did the same thing uh, in Anaheim, and he celebrated that with a goal. 34 years old, Alexei Zitnik, still a star and a half player. Oh boy, that's uh, 999 games. All right, and we are about to play the Leafs again in the second of the back-to-back. -back. Um, we're not going to look at them. We just looked at them. So let's see if we can beat them again. We're going to go to Brian Elliott for that one. They are going to Ty Conklin. So let's see if we can win at home. Oh, we lost 4-3. to three. So the Leafs uh, look like they're going to give us some problems this season again. Uh, we did outshoot them 42 to 16. Brian Leach was the first star of the game. He had two assists. Alexander Radulov was the second star with two assists. And Adrian O'Quinn was the third star with a goal. We had 17,246 people in attendance for that game. And the first goal of the game was scored by Martin Avlat from Zidane Oshara and Alexander Radulov. It was 1 0 Suns at that point. But then Toronto tied the game. And it was tied at 1 after 1. Then in the second period, we took the lead again. So it was Brooks like on the power play from Patrick Eliash and Chris Kelly. And then Alexander Steen from uh, Nikolai Antropov tied the game at two. So it was 2-2 two -two after two. And then in the third period, I said Ryan Bork earlier. It was René Bork. So... Uh, I got that wrong. So Toronto scored two goals to make it 4-2 uh, at the start of the third. Then Michael Ryder scored on the power play from Red Love and Joe Thornton. But it was too little too late. We couldn't tie the game. So yeah, Brian Elliott wasn't all that strong in that particular game. So... So yeah, uh, we ended up losing. Uh, so Matt Cullen, oh, look at that, playing for the Wild a little bit earlier than he did in real life. Uh, so former Ottawa Senator Matt Cullen uh, is going to miss pretty much the entire season. Uh, he just got hurt for seven months with a torn posterior cruciate ligament. And then Tommy Pettinen in Colorado uh, is not getting suspended. All right, and we are about to take on the Rangers at home. Eric Westrom is available. I'm not going to pick him up. Jason Pominville extends his goal streak to five games. He had a goal and an assist against the Islanders. Pretty good. All right, so about to host the Rangers. The Rangers are 0-1 so far this season. They have lost their only game that they have played. We are, of course, 1-1. So let's take a look at the Rangers. We already know they don't have Brian Leach anymore because he's in Toronto. And there's a few injuries there. All right, so in net, it's uh, Henrik Lundqvist and Al Montoya. So anytime you have Lundqvist in net, you have a chance to win. Uh, Mark Stahl, Fedor Tutin, Thomas Caberty is the is hurt, so he's not gonna play. Uh, so Mark Stahl, Fedor Tutin, Dan Girardi, Travis Roach, Dennis Weidman, Steve Steyos, and Sergei Zubov on D. It's kind of it uh, and hit or miss. There's a few good players there. There's a few that are either still developing or not all that great. Um then Joey Crab, Oleg Kavasha, Nigel Dawes, uh, Laurie Karpikowski, uh, 
Rominski, Glenn, Curtis Glenn Cross, Coralia, Doug Wade, Artigan, Chichu, Kovalev, who came uh, to camp unfit, Fernando Pisani, and Alexander Sharapanov. So I think Sharapanov is the. Isn't he the young player that uh, the Rangers sadly lost? Uh, like he had like a cardiac arrest or uh, some kind of heart issue, and he, he died at the bench or something like that. I believe that was um. I believe that was his name. I, I don't mean to offend anybody by getting it wrong, but uh, I seem to remember that it was him, and it was pretty tragic, of course. All right, so we should be able to beat that team. Uh, Aside from the goaltending and maybe a little bit the D, the rest is really not all that good. So let's see if we can beat the Rangers. So, let's see here. Alright, so Lundqvist in net for the Rangers. We are going with Ryan Metter. And we won seven to six. Wow, it's been a pretty offensive game here. All right, so we outshot the Rangers forty-one to thirty. Sheldon Sorry was the first star of the game. He had three assists. Mark Artigan, after giving pizza and gift cards to his fans, was the second star with a goal and two assists. And Andre Mazaros scored his first NHL goal and was the third star. 17,656 people in attendance for this particular game. So Brooks like opened up the scoring in the first from Patrick Elias and Sheldon Sorry. The, then the Rangers scored twice to make it 2 to 1, but Jason Spezza scored from Sheldon Sorry and Brooks like to tie the game at 2. Then in the second period, we took the lead again. So Joe Thornton scored on the power play from Zdeno Shara, but then the Rangers tied the game, and then we scored twice. So we had Mazaros from Callahan and Marianosa, and then Anton Volchenko from Callahan and Chris Kelly, 5-3 after two. And then in the third period, the Rangers scored three goals. Uh, and took a 6-5 to five lead, but then Patrick Elias tied a game at 6, assisted by Sheldon Sorry and Jason Spezza, and then Pavel Datsuk from Joe Thornton and Marianosa scored with 48 seconds left to go in the third period. It was 7-6, and that score would hold, so quite a crazy game here. Lots of momentum swings. Uh, Chris Draper is back from suspension in Phoenix. Alex Ovechkin extends his goal streak to five games with a goal against Carolina. So, still not completely a uh, rich potential for Ovechkin. He is a three and a half star player. Right, and Jason Spezza is recovered from his cold. And we are playing today against the New Jersey Devils. Right, Craig Miller is available. We're not going to pick him up. Alright, so the Devils are 1-1 one one so far this season. That's good for 11th in the East. And we are going to take a look at their lineup. Of course, we know they have Martin Brodeur. Alright, and Zach Parise is hurt, so he's not going to be playing that game. So, Brother is in net, and Vesa Toskela, Eric Brewer, Scott Niedermeyer, Freddie Meyer, Brian Berard. Wow, Brian Berard is still playing. Oh, wow. So, Brian Berard is an alpha star player, and he played last season. Played 61 games for New Jersey and managed to get 36 points despite an offensive rating of 10. That's pretty good. Wow. Sean Brown and Brian Rafalski uh, on D, so, hmm, that's interesting. Uh, Gianta Di Salvatore, uh, Antoine Vermitt, Spilo, Murray, Kulnick, Simon Gamache, John Madden, Scott Gomez, Brandon Nolan, uh, Tony Amante, Zach Parisi, Brian Rosen, Nick 
Nicholas Bergfors and Jason Ward, probably, yes. Yeah, it's a little bit kind of hit or miss, and you know, John Madden should probably shouldn't be a four star player. Oh, I mentioned that uh, in the comments on my. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, so a few seasons ago, John Madden scored 80 to 82 points, and we kind of had a brief discussion on a previous video about how some of the defensive forwards in the game are overrated and John Madden being one of them I I don't think now don't get me wrong as a defensive forward as a third line center I think John Madden was great but I don't think he was also going to score 82 82 points anytime soon so yeah and there's other players like that that have like really high ceilings that were very defensive Player. so it looks like for that particular iteration of the game they might have increased the focus for uh, talent representation uh, for a defensive play which I mean defensive players should be good also but I mean not so in the in a way that makes them score 82 points in a season anyway all right, so we should be able to beat the Devils. Let's go ahead and see if that happens. Yeah, Martin Brother in net for the Devils. We are going to Ryan Metter. And we won 5 to 2. We outshot the Devils, but only 29 to 16. So a little bit lower numbers than we're used to. Joe Thornton was the first star of the game. He had two goals and an assist. Jason Spezza was the second star with a goal and an assist. And Marianosa was the third star with a goal and an assist as well. We had 17,015 people in attendance for that game. Nobody scored in the first period. Then in the second period, uh, there were quite a few goals. So John Madden, uh, we just talked about him, uh, opened up the scoring in the second. Then Joe Thornton scored like what 16 seconds later from Jason Spezza then Joe Thornton on the power play from Mark Streit and Michael Ryder then Mark Streit from Marianosa and Pavel Datsuk and it was 3-1 to Sens then the Devils scored again made it 3-2 to two, and it was 3-2 to two after 2 and we scored two more goals in the third period. Mariano Osa scored from Jordan Leopold and Joe Thornton and then Jason Spezza from Patrick Elias 5-2 to two was the final score Uh, Alex Ovechkin extends his goal streak to six games with another goal against the Islanders. And there's been a trade between the Kings and the Oilers. Alright, so Frantisek Kimberly and Nikita Alexev, or the rights to Nikita Alexev, are going to Edmonton. For Brian Wilsey and Jeff Frazy. Oh, I. Right. I think the order has got a little bit of the upper arm. I think Francis Cabaret is a little bit uh, of a better defenseman than Brian Wilsey is a forward. Although Brian Wilsey did get 39 points last season, that's not too shabby. Remains to be seen if that's a good trade or not. Alright, Sergei Gonchar has racked up 600 points in his career with an assist against the Carolina Hurricanes. 33 years old, Sergei Gonchar, a solid three star player. Chris Pronger is back from suspension in Carolina. And we are about to play the Atlanta Trashers. And it's going to be on the road. So Atlanta is 1-1 one one so far this season, which is good for 8th in the East. Now let's take a look at their lineup. No injuries, so that's pretty much their best lineup that they can put together. Quite a few Alpha Star players, but also quite a few good players to go with it. So it's kind of hit or miss, apparently. Alright, so Peter Budai and Kerry Lettonen in that. Toby Enstrom, uh, Brian Mezzi, I believe. Is it Brian or Brandon? Branislav, oh boy, I got that wrong. It happens. 
My apologies. Uh, Dan McGillis, Dennis Seidenberg, Dan Boyle, Brandon Co Braden Coburn, Daniel Corso, Kovalchuk, Marcus Neslund, Jimmy Alves, Alvestad, Sammy Kapanen, uh, Stuart Armstrong, Little Moore, Rasmussen, Kostopoulos, Valerie Bure, Chris Clark, Yeri Lettinen, and Antonin. Alright, let's see, uh, let's see what happens here. Oh wow, Valerie Bure is coming back from the dead. Alright, so we are playing in Atlanta. We have Ryan Miller in net. They have Kerry Lettonen. And we lost 5-2. to two. Wow. We outshot the Trashers 29-28. to 28. Sammy Kapanen was the first star of the game. He had a goal and an assist. Chris Clark was the second star with two assists. And Daniel Corso was the third star with two assists as well. Yeah, not a good road game for the Suns. So... The Trashers took a 3 0 lead into the first period, then Marinosa scored on the power play from Joe Thornton and Patrick Elias. 3 1 Trashers after 1. Then they scored again in the second, made it 4 1. Then we scored uh, in the third period, it was Joe Thornton's fifth from Pavel Datsyuk and Jason Spezza, made it 4 2, but then Dan Boyle scored in an empty net near the end of the game, and it was 5 2. We didn't play very well for that one. There was no stopping Stefan Robida, who had a hat trick against the Phoenix Coyotes. Dynamic passing leads to products of night for Nicholas Lidstrom, who had five assists against the Flames. Oh, Saku Koivu is suspended. He's gonna miss 10 games. Wow. So Koivu's uh, nickname in Montreal was the the little Viking or the small Viking. Is it in the game? No, it is not. And Steve Carrier is back from suspension in Nashville, so back in the lineup. All right, so. We don't have a whole lot of time to forget yesterday's loss because we are hosting the Carolina Hurricanes. So the Hurricanes are 1 in 3, which is good for 13th in the East. No injuries in Carolina. So they have Cam Ward and Steve Veliket in net, Chris Pronger, Ray Giroux, Danny Richman, Rory Fitzpatrick, Thomas Puck. Uh, Brian Allen and Mike Weaver on D. That's not all that great. Uh, Pavel Dimitra, Craig Adams, Andrew Ladd, Jeff Sanderson, Andrew Castles, Eric Stahl, Mikhail Nylander, Francis Lemieux, Radek Dvorak, Dan Einote, Pat Kavanagh, David Steckel, JP Vigier, and Todd Ziegler. Yeah, they're not all that great. The, the Canes. Alright, so Cam Ward in net for Carolina. We are going to Brian Elliott. And we lost again. 5 3. Wow. This season might be a little tougher. Alright, so we outshot Carolina 33 to 19. Thomas Puck was the first star of the game with a goal and an assist. Jason Spezza was the second star with a goal and an assist as well. And Chris Pronger was the third star with two assists. 17,110 people in attendance for this game. So Carolina took a 3-0 lead into the first. Then Michael Ryder scored on the power play from Joe Thornton and Jason Spezza. 3-1 Hurricanes after the first. And in the second, Jason Spezza scored from Mezaros and Pavel Datsyuk, made it 3-2. Th uh, then Carolina score, made it 4-2. And then we traded goals in the third period. Tim Gleason brought us to within one from Andre Mezaros. Uh, but then Carolina scored and made it 5-3. And we would not tie the game. Uh-oh, Volchenkov got hurt in that game. Art for one to two weeks. All 
Alright, we already have to recall somebody. Now, who am I gonna recall? Well, Brian Lee is two points per game. Let's give the rookie a shot. Why not? Can't be worse than what it is now. Alright, so in a couple of days we are going to be playing in uh, New York against the Rangers, whom we've played already. Philip Boucher has competed in a thousand games in his career, so he had an assist to celebrate. So Philip Boucher, 34 years old, still a two and a half star player, so still pretty good. Martin Brodeur played in his thousand game as well, and he celebrated with a win against the Florida Panthers. So 35 years old, Martin Brodeur, five stars. Still, wow, already 35 for Brother. Scott Artnell extends his point straight to 12 games. That's pretty good. He had a goal against Phoenix. Yeah, I'm not giving you that number. Uh, you can have number six. Oh, which of the Sedin is or Daniel Sedin got hurt in Vancouver? Uh, torn tie muscle and he's out for four months. Oh, that's gonna hurt the Canucks. Brian Wilsey suspended. He's going to miss six games, so the Kings just got him and he got suspended. Rob Blake has reached 1,250 games in his career. Didn't get a point. Again, it was against Boston. 37 years old, Rob Blake, still a two and a half star player. And Alex Ovechkin extends his goal streak to seven games with a goal and an assist against the Rangers. Oh, the team we're playing right now. Alright, so we are playing on the road against the Rangers. They are now one and three. That's good for 13 in the East. Oh, we need a win to get back on track. Ryan Miller is going to be in net for us. Al Montoya is going to be in net for the Rangers. And we lost 6-3. We have we actually have a losing record. Now that has not happened in a very long time. Wow. Okay. So we are 30 uh, we outshot the Rangers 34 to 25. Curtis Glencross was the first star of the game. He had three assists. Mark Hearth again. Yet again the second star with a goal and an assist. And Sergei Zubov was the third star with two assists. So we opened up the scoring in the first. It was Jason Spezza on the power play from Joe Thornton. One nothing after one. Then we took a 2 nothing lead. Ryan, Ka Ryan Callahan scored from Patrick Elias and Andre Mizaros. It was 2 nothing at that point. Then the Rangers tied the game 2-2. And then we took the lead. It was Chris Kelly from Patrick Elias. It was 3-2 Suns after 2. But everything went to... Um, Everything went to crap in the third period. We allowed four goals, four unanswered goals, and then we lost six to three. Oh boy, Marion was says hurt with a strained hamstring, hurt for three weeks. We didn't need that. All right, Michael Ryder becomes a center, apparently. Marion Hosa is getting hurt a lot. Alright, who are we recalling? Um, look at Patrick Eves, the unfit. 
No points in three games in the minors. I'm not calling you up. I think I'm getting clippish up. Oh, and we are about to play our rivals, the Montreal Canadiens. Well, it's in five days. Aren't they going to be glad to play us while we're struggling? Uh, Scott Hartnell's point streak ended at 12 games. Against the Flames, could not get a point. Good night for Benoit Pouliot, uh, playing in Minnesota, of course. That's uh, the team that drafted him. His stat line included three goals and an assist against Phoenix. Strong night for Petrus Bergeron in Boston. He had four assists against the Sharks. All right, so Klippish wants a... Yeah, you're not getting number 20. There you go. Alright, and we are about to host Montreal. Well, not a lot of news. <clears throat> All the way leading to here. Alright. So Montreal is 3-2. and two. Uh, That's good for 8th in the East. And we have not played them so far this season. Uh, the rivalry game. Let's take a look here. So they have St uh, Stephen Weiss is hurt. So he's not going to be playing that game. He's been put on injured reserve for a minor facial cut. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, the the big debate now. I don't know how much you know about Montreal and their fans and everything, but there is an ongoing uh, an ongoing debate that has been going on for almost ten years now. Carey Price or Yaroslav Alak. So, anyway, I'm not gonna get into that, but those are the two goaltenders from Montreal right now. So, yeah. Uh, Beauchemin, Curtis Foster, Andre Markov, Matthew Schneider, Ron Insey, Jack Johnson, Ed Jovanovski, and Yoni Pitkinen on D for Montreal. That's a pretty good D. Montreal has still a pretty good game, a uh, pretty good team. We Erickson, Chris Higgins, uh, Steve Ott. Uh, Justin Williams, Derek McKenzie, Saku Koivu, who is suspended, so he's not going to play that game. Thomas Pacanet, Stud White, Gilbert Brudy, Tim Jackman, Mike Ribeiro, Chad LaRose, and Rafi Torres. Alright, so Ryan Miller in net for us, Carey Price in net for Montreal, go Sens go, we need a win here. And we lost 2-1. to one. Oh boy. Things are getting interesting here. Uh, we outshot Montreal 43-33. Uh, Justin Williams was the first star of the game. He scored both of Montreal's goals. Pavel Detsuk scored our only goal. He was the second star. Carey Price was the third star with 42 saves. We had 19,669 people in attendance for this game. So Pavel Datsuk opened up the scoring in the first on the power play from Joe Thornton and Jason Spezza. It was 1-0 Suns after one. Then Justin Williams scored in the second period. And then he scored late in the third. Made it 2-1 Montreal and we lost. Despite the loss, Joe Thornton extended his assist streak to eight games with an assist in that game. So we kind of need to put things back on track. Of course, I have a few injuries. Things might be better with Volchenkov and Osen in the lineup. Look at that, even the Panthers are better than us. Alright, so Alexei Semyonov and Shane Morrison are available. No further action is needed for Atlanta's Brian Little, not suspended. 
Jorgen Janssen played in a thousand games, uh, not playing with the Flames, no points. He played against LA. 35 years old, Jorgen Janssen, one star player. Yeah, looks like they, they like him and they're keeping him around. He's been around like for a long time. Marianosa ready to resume skating. Yeah, okay. Volchenkov, okay. And then there's been an uh, Edmonton made an, uh, another trade, this time with Dallas. Alright, so Scott Walker and Antti Laxanen are going to Edmonton for Alish Emski and Ed Belfort. Wow. Yeah, I, I think that Dallas got the best of it because Emski is gonna is gonna be a pretty decent player for them, and the two players they gave up are kind of old. Wow, pretty interesting trade. Ed Belfour is still around at forty two years old. All right, so we are about to play the Florida Panthers. Uh, the Panthers are four and three this season, and that's good for sixth in the East. Let's take a look at their lineup. No, uh, that's not true. They do have an injury. It's Mark Parrish. Mark Parrish is hurt, and I believe that we looked at them during preseason. I remember that lineup. Ken Klee is unfit. I re I remember that. So, yeah. We should be able to beat them, but lately everybody's been beating us, so who knows? Ryan Miller in net for us, Roman Turek in net for the Panthers. We are playing in Ottawa, and we lost 3 to 1. <laughs> Something's wrong. Something's wrong. Is it the coach? Did I pick wrong? I don't know. Uh, we were outshot 36 to 27 in that game. Nathan Orton was the first star with two goals. Patrick Elias was the second star with a goal, and Ryan Kessler was the third star with an assist. 15,761 people in attendance for that game. Uh, Florida opened up the scoring in the first, then took a two nothing lead into the second. Uh, then we had Patrick Elias score to bring us bring us to within one from Jason Spezza and Joe Thornton. 2-1 to one after 2. And then uh, the Panthers scored in an empty net with 3 seconds to go in the third period. And we lost 3-1. to Alright, so despite the loss, Joe Thornton got an assist in, a, in 9 straight games. And we have only one more game this month to try to make it right. Even then, we're not going to make it right. We're not even going to play for 500. Wow, who would have guessed that? Uh, Tom Rennie's job might be in jeopardy in Calgary. Uh, no, he did lose his job. So Tom Rennie was fired as the coach for the Flames. They pulled the trigger early. Uh, they were 1-4-3 this season. So they fired him and they got Paul Maurice to replace him. Jason Pominville in Buffalo is hurt. He's going to miss three months after a torn rotator cuff uh, against Montreal. Uh, Bryce Salvador is not suspended anymore. He's back in the lineup in Tampa Bay. Travis Zajac extends his assist streak to eight games with a goal and an assist for Toronto against the Chicago Blackhawks. Alright, and Volchenkov is ready to play. Can I take him off though? Oh no, he needs to stay there for four more days. Well, he's gonna he's still gonna be back in time for the next game because we don't play for six days. We have a week off. Alright, so So Marjamaki injured while installing fixture at home. 
Boston left wing and novice do it yourself for Messi Mariyamaki. We miss up to a week of action after suffering a tom confusion while attempting to install a bathroom fixture. I never was much of a handyman, joked Mariyamaki. I'm not sure what I was thinking. According to Mariyamaki, he was preparing to install a new sink in his guest bathroom when the fixture slipped and mashed his right thumb. Yeah, it was probably even more painful than it sounds. I was afraid my entire hand was broken for a moment. Luckily, the x-rays came back negative and I should be back in about a week. Yeah, don't, uh, don't do stuff like that by yourself. You should hire people. You make enough money. Oh, Mathieu Darche is paid a lot of money. I'm not picking him up, but uh, yeah. Great night for Thomas Olmstrom, who played briefly for the Suns. He had three goals and an assist against the Carolina Hurricanes. Travis Zajax assist streak ended at eight games. No points against the Trashers. Oh, Jorgen Janssen is not being suspended in Calgary. So he just played his thousand game not too long ago and now he's thinking about head hunting or something. Right, Volchenkov back in action. Uh, Brian Lee did play a couple games, but yeah, we didn't do too good. Brian Wilsey is back from suspension in LA, back in the lineup. And right before we play the Devils, uh, John Madden got fractured ribs and he's going to be out for two weeks. Nicholas Backstrom has a good game for the Capitals. He had four assists against the Vancouver Canucks and Seeing Nick Backstrom in real life, I am not sure he's going to be able to pull a beard like that. So his, uh, his face gen here is definitely a little uh, over the top for what he would be in real life. Alright, so last game of the month, a pretty painful month at that, is going to be against the New Jersey Devils, who are now 5-4, and four, which is good for ninth in the East. We have won 5-2 against the Devils earlier this season. So let's go ahead and see if we can beat them on the road. Brian Elliott is going to be in net for us and Martin Brodeur is going to be in net for the Devils. And we end the month with a win, at, at least. We got a win here, so maybe we can get several more in a row. Uh, we did outshoot New Jersey 55-22. Patrick Elias was the first star of the game, he had three assists. Brian Gianta was the second star with an assist, and Brooks Lake was the third star with a goal and an assist. So New Jersey opened up the scoring in the first period, but then Brooks Lake uh, tied the game from Anton Volchenkov and Joe Thornton. It was tied at one after one. Then in the second period, Aaron Spilo. Uh, gave the Devils a 2-1 lead, but then Ryan Callan tied the game from Brooks Lake and Patrick Elias. It was tied at 2 after 2. And then in the third, Alexander Radulov scored on the power play from Chris Kelly and Patrick Elias, made it 3-2. And then Alexander Radulov scored on the power play again from Patrick Elias and Chris Kelly, yet again. And 4-2 was the final score. Alright, we needed a win here. Joe Thornton extends his point streak to 12 games with an assist in that game, and that was 10 straight games with an assist. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and finish simulating the month. Josef Boumedian is available, not picking him up. Memorable night for Maxim Afinajanov, now playing in Detroit. He had a hat trick against the Canucks. Oh, 
Oh, Yarmir Jagger is out of the lineup uh, in Pittsburgh. He has a knee contusion and he's only day to day. So. Alright, so last day to simulate before we are officially in November. Martin Gilina has tallied 1,250 games played in his career. Didn't get a point. Now Gilina plays for the Blackhawks. And that was against the Stars. 37 years old, Martin Gilina, still a star and a half player. Alright, so the players of the month uh, in the NHL were Brian Campbell of Buffalo and Devin Dubnik of Edmonton. Of course, none of our players are there. We did struggle mightily in that. That's the first time in a very long time that we've had a losing month. That hasn't happened in quite a few videos. All right, let's take a look at. So we're 11th in the East, so we have work to do uh, for sure. In the West, we have Detroit, Edmonton, San Jose, Nashville, Columbus, Minnesota, Los Angeles, and Dallas. And the worst team in the league is the Calgary Flames. They are 1-7-4. Alright, we're going to take a look at our stats. I don't think we're going to see anything too uh, awesome in there. Oh, okay. Well, Joe Thornton. I do have three players that are a point per game, so that's maybe a little bit surprising given our record. But, uh, yeah. So Joe Thornton has 15 points in 10 games. Eliash is 11 and 10. Spezza is 11 and 10. Datsyuk is struggling a little bit. Six points. Uh, Will Siska. Avlat has only one point. I was hoping for a little bit more from him. Mike Fisher has zero points. Yeah, there's definitely a few players there that I was uh, hoping a little bit more from. Hopefully we can turn this around. Let's take a look in the league. See who's better than us. So Ovechkin leads the league in goals with 10. Uh, Oleg Tverdovsky leads the league in assists with 12. And Ovechkin is the best scorer with 18 points. Now remember Crosby got hurt during preseason. So he didn't play or didn't play very much in October. So that's probably why we're not seeing him in there. Um... Yeah, we're we're not seeing our guys too much here. We're gonna need uh, to start doing better. All right, so yeah, that's pretty interesting. Actually, it's kind of kind of nice to be losing. I, I know it probably doesn't make much sense, but you know when you lose, uh, how many games did I lose at one season? Like four or six. Yeah. Yeah, it gets a little bit, uh, a little bit more monotonous. Uh, definitely having a losing record here in October, I have to stay on my toes and maybe work for it a little bit more. So, I kind of, I can appreciate that for sure. But anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and stop here. Uh, we have work to do. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'm just gonna let it play out, or maybe I'm gonna shake things out maybe i'm gonna try to br bring the uh, severely unfit patrick eaves back in the mix and see if that helps things i don't know yet all right so i do want to thank you for tuning in as usual and if you've liked the video feel free to like subscribe share comment all of that good stuff and until i roll this game again i'll see you guys next time thank you